guys, so today's video is a highly requested Fashion Nova jeans video. So in today's video, we're doing a size comparison. So I wear an Australian size six in jeans mm -hmm. and Tiasha? I wear like a 16, I'm gonna say, yeah. So it's a little bit difficult for us Australians to pick the right size on American websites because your sizing makes no sense. I'm so confused. So confused. <laughs> I mean, I guess they say that about us, but... Yeah, but I, to me, ours makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> I've ordered Fashion Nova jeans in a size 3 in the past, and I found they were like a little tiny bit too big, but I, I don't want to risk going down to a 2, because on the size chart, I'm definitely not a 2. It's better to be slightly bigger. I think, I think so. Because at yeah. least you can, you can work with it. Yeah, them. and they can shrink if you mm. put them in the wash. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, <laughs> We tried to get a selection of flared, boot cut, boyfriend jeans, mum jeans, coloured jeans, pattern yep. jeans, yep. and then like a little special treat for you guys because it's I don't know about that. the strangest jeans <laughs> we've ever seen in our life. So that's enough talk. Look, let's jump into uh, the first pair, okay. which is black flared jeans. Right. Now these ones were. This is yours. Oop, thank you. Oh, and that's that's also mine because I accidentally oh. ordered them in. <laughs> I accidentally ordered two of the same jeans. I'm going to be testing out the returns policy. <laughs> I just want to say this: I haven't returned a single thing for about a year. Uh, a lot of people, I get comments on my videos yeah. saying, "Oh, you just return everything." I actually haven't returned anything for about a year. Not a single thing. But this but is. Can I also defend that because it's also like. She's buying this to make video. You're buying this to make videos. Like you don't have to keep everything. The main issue with it is that it's like a little bit of a waste of resources, you know, because uh, it's got to go back to the company and then people have to process it. Uh, and then you don't know what they do with it once they receive it. Like some companies don't keep their returns. They don't put them back for sale. Some companies do. Like I bought from Pretty Little Thing and I've pulled it out of the bag and it smells like sweat and it has cat fur on it. So obviously some companies reuse the stuff that they've returned. Some companies just get rid of it. And because of that, I haven't returned anything. Anything that I try, and even if I, I use it once in the video, I'll donate it or I'll give it to my friends. Mm -hmm. I just want to put that out there because a lot of people think that I still return things. Yeah. But in this situation, I accidentally doubled up. I ordered, I think I just got excited adding to cart and I accidentally added my size twice. <laughs> so I think in this situation, I'm well within my yeah, right I to think so. return this. So the black flared jeans. Ooh. I'm so excited. Ooh, okay, this, oh. this is a very soft denim. These like, are sexy. <laughs> These oh, are the they're so long. <laughs> magical happen. <laughs> this is like a strange like shrink me poster. Like, the opposite of weight loss just make me sure. I, I used to be this tall and now I'm this tall. Mine are touching the ground. Oh they're a little they're, high. They're coming up under my boobs. They are Do you think that, is that too high? I feel like that shouldn't be that high. Okay they're both touching the ground. Yours are a, a, a solid like two inches higher yeah. than mine. That could be the sizing. Maybe the sizing is to do with height. Because these are wrong? stretchy. All right, so these jeans, these were 81 Australian dollars each. I like to have your opinion and other people's opinions too because I've been on YouTube for like a, over a year yeah. and I get a lot of stuff for free. Mm. And I very, well, I literally never buy things just for myself. If I'm buying stuff, I'm only buying it because people have asked me to mm. review it. And I've kind of lost touch with pricing. Yeah. Back in the day, I'm pretty sure if I had seen jeans for like 50 to $70, I probably would have freaked out a little bit. Yeah. So if you go to Jeans West and stuff and you want a good pair of jeans, you're, you're spending like a hundred. Okay, yeah. So Charlie buys one pair of jeans a year and he spends a hundred dollars. Okay, yep. On the dot every year. And that's for like a nice pair of jeans that'll last him for a while. Yeah, actually that's a good idea. Bring the boyfriend into it. My When yeah. we last bought jeans for my husband, we got them from... Because boys don't do cheap jeans. No, they don't. Right? No, uh, I think, I can't remember <coughs> where we got my husband's jeans, but they were a hundred and thirty dollars. Yeah, right. And he's had them forever. Yeah. Like, he, he, he's exactly the yes. same. He buys jeans like once a See, year. See, I'm a $15 Supre girl, so I yeah. understand. $80, maybe that's okay. Mm -hmm. Probably pretty decent, but I think so. I'm really interested. I'm really interested. And also, <laughs> something else you guys should note is the distresses are on the back, Oh, too, I didn't know that. Which I hate. That's so weird. Already. Oh, I didn't I didn't actually look at a picture look of the model far, from the look back. Look how high up that goes. <gasps> There's like distresses right on the borderline of where my butt's going to be, which is... A treat for y'all, but <laughs> <laughs> okay. So here we are. Um, our first reactions when we saw each other. Let me just get a bit higher. Wait, you can't even see my slits. Alex, why are you so tall? <laughs> our first reactions were something along the lines of. Oh, <gasps> amazing! <laughs> 
Now, you guys can't see the bottom. We will give you a full length <laughs> shot in a second. Right up until like your knees. Yeah. You look incredible. Thank you. You look so good. Do you want me to take you through the journey of what I've just been yes. through? Okay, put on the jeans. My toes got stuck immediately. If there's a trick to get into distressed jeans, let me know because it's a joke. And then I got around the thigh mark and it just like was not going up. I literally had to like line really? up. Like, these are so tight guys. And I was immediately in my head. It's sitting comfortably. I'm not uncomfortable. I think the thing's slowly stretching to form onto your body yeah. shape. It's really comfortable and it's really flattering. Like I, so it's flattering. Not cut, it's like holding everything in and it's not cutting into my fat. Like it, you look so good. Oh, yes. I think it, these are very flattering for bumps. Yeah. Length is ridiculous. And mm. I don't know how we can fix that length for you because if you take them up, the you flare. lose the flare if you take them up. Yeah. So I don't know how we can work around that. We put you in some high heels and that'll bring you up a little bit. I'll wear your buffaloes. Let's oh, try that. Because yeah, yeah. that's like that much. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Let me try so, that. Lengthwise on me, I love them. I think that they're so good, Alex. I, I'm so good on you. I don't have to take these up. No. When wearing high heels with these, they just sort of grace the floor, which mm. is totally fine. And I think the way that they cinch in at the kneecaps is really, really nice. Yes. It's sitting in the perfect yes. height. The distress That's tears, they aren't too much. No, There's, they're not. Sometimes I worry that if it's too much, you kind of spill out of it and it, it looks a bit You awkward. don't want the bulge, but it's yeah. not doing it. It's not doing that, yeah. yeah. And they're really comfortable. They were a little bit tight as I put them on too. I yeah. experienced the same thing. But once you have them on, yeah. they fit perfectly. They, they, do. they don't feel it's uncomfortable. It's so strange. It's like it's tight just trying to get it over certain spots yeah. where it's not meant to sit. But yes. once you get it to the spot where it sits. Everything just sits in place. Yeah, it sits perfectly. Because I could tell when to stop trying to pull up because the knee yeah. is cinched that it's just not going to go over your thigh. And you're like, okay, locked. You know, <laughs> I like these so much. I'm not going to return that second pair. Yeah. I'm going to do a DIY to the second pair. I might I might do the like bleach stamping oh, and then, like change them yes. or I might even like cut off the back pocket and replace it with a colored pocket <gasps> or like I'm gonna do one pair and make it all different and then keep these yes. as like the classic yes. black ones yes. Yes. but I think overall if yours didn't have the really stupid length <laughs> if they didn't look like yeah. that they would be perfect don't obviously. you feel like both of us have like the perfect hourglass right yeah. now like look at us I think it looks really nice the way that it cinches in just here. It's perfect. Yeah. These I'm are very pleased. Huge win, mm -hmm. aside from the length. Yeah. Oh no, and the pocket, right? Oh yeah, I'm glad that you pointed oh. that out. See this on both of us. The distressing comes up to here, which means that the little pocket lining yeah. sticks out. And it's just this grey pocket. Yeah, and it just hangs out. So the only way you can't really get around it. No. Like you can kind of pull the pocket up a little bit. I tried tucking it back in, but it's still visible, so yeah. it's just strange. So you can't really get around that. Maybe that's the style. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Seems like a mistake to be honest. That, yeah. that seems like a mistake <laughs> to me. I feel like that's poorly. The, this slit shouldn't be here. Yeah. If that one wasn't there, the pocket wouldn't hang out of it. So that's the only issue. Mm. But aside from that, I would give you like an eight out of 10. Yeah, same. Yeah. Maybe a seven for me just because of height, but that yeah. might be my problem. It's never my problem. It's Look, never. they were tall. I'm tall. I'm like five foot eight to five foot nine. I'm yeah. kind of in between that. So yeah. I'm considered to be tall. Mm. I feel like you're a normal height. I'm a standard height. I so think. I don't know how many people, everyone's <laughs> going to have length issues with those. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us in the comments below how you would sort out this ridiculous size problem. Yeah. Because at the moment, Tiasha looks like a penguin. <laughs> She looks like a penguin, uh, or she looks like she's wearing flippers to I the look pool. like a mermaid. Yeah, you look <laughs> like a mermaid. Let us know how you would fix that. Would you just roll them up? Would you cut them? Or something else? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so our next pair, we have some pink bootleg jeans. These are, again, $80. This one's a size 15 for me. Okay, I got mine in the three. Mm -hmm. And it says on the tag here, designed for long-lasting <laughs> natural comfort by EcoSoft Technology. Tencel denim, cellulose fibers derived from European wood sources liberates movement with an exquisitely soft, flexible fit. <laughs> Ecosoft technology, enhanced breathability, botanic origin. This is some bougie ass jeans. Long lasting <laughs> softness. Uh, if you want to know more about the claims, please scan this QR code. I, I, uh, I, we're not scanning. I've, no I've, heard, I've heard enough. <laughs> <laughs> These are a really pretty shade of pink. This is nice. Straight away. Oh, it doesn't feel like normal denim. So whatever this tensile thing it's is. It's wood. It's <laughs> <laughs> These are wooden jeans. Wooden jeans. These must be super stretchy because look how tiny this waist is. Yeah. Can this you is... grab those black ones and compare the waist? I wonder if both of them are. This is my one. Yeah, I'm getting nervous about these waistlines. The waistline of the black ones, look how much bigger 
how much more room there is. <clears throat> yeah, my yeah. black ones are that significantly much bigger, wider, yeah. but they're the same size. So these must be super ah, stretchy. Mine's bigger even. My pink ones should be bigger. Oh, it's, it's a, a size, size 15 versus 13. Oh yeah, the black ones are a 13, the pink ones are a 15, but look how much smaller the pink ones are. Surely these must be very, very, very They stretchy. must be incredibly. <gasps> which is also means they're going to be really like skin tired, which is like either a good thing or a bad thing. Right? I don't know. I, I don't like super skin no, tight jeans. neither do I. <laughs> Let's see this height situation. Okay. <laughs> oh no. I don't understand. I reckon that because they've left room for my butt and stuff, it'll slowly just shrink down. Do you think? To there. Because all it really has to do is go from here. It needs to lose that much. They're actually that's not so as stretchy crazy. as I thought they'd be. Oh, what is with this sizing? This makes no sense. I don't get how that's a 15. Those this is not a 110 centimeter butt, and I'm telling you that right now. I love how big this flare is. Yeah. I'm obsessed with flare jeans. We big. all know. You guys know. <laughs> we all know. Okay. That's one thing people know about you. So you love Archie and you love flare jeans. The color is really nice, but as you guys can tell immediately, it's doing absolutely nothing. These jeans, despite being smaller, they were much easier to get on yeah, and they're, they're really, really stretchy. stretchy. They're super stretchy. But it's doing exactly what I fear light jeans do, which is just make this really unflattering. So I would probably never wear these. So you reckon if you want to avoid like showing your tummy, yeah. you go for the darker colors, right? I go the darker colors or size up so that it's not oh, so yeah. tight. Yeah. So I would like size up maybe one or two sizes and then wear a belt around the waist. Oh, yeah, yeah. So then it's not skin tight here and you still get the same effect. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. So lengthwise, I think they're doing almost the same thing. Almost. These the are others. slightly better. Slightly shorter. Yeah. Being a pale skinned person, I think that light colored jeans like pink or like nudie colored mm. jeans look really silly sometimes because it almost looks too similar to my own skin. Skin tone, right? Yeah, right. I have this other pair of pink jeans that when I wear like a white top with it, yeah. sometimes if you look at a picture of me, you think I would naked. Not be, yeah, <laughs> you literally think I'm naked. I don't mind them, but mm. also I, I'm also getting that same, it's just not very forgiving. Like it's the not. line where my undies are, you can yeah. see it quite clearly. Yeah. You see that and mm -hmm. you can see it very, very clearly. I feel like these are very difficult to pull off. How's the butt? But yeah, I think your butt looks nice. Oh, thank you. The back is okay. I don't like the front thing either. Mm. Yeah, Archie, that's right. Not such a fan. No. So next up we have distressed skinny jeans. Great. Now I despise skinny jeans. <laughs> Just gonna put that out there. I think it's very hard to pull them off. It's and you, you really have to style them. Mm. Cause for me with big flared jeans, mm. you can literally just throw on a band t-shirt, mm -hmm. flared jeans, mm. and they're so long they cover your shoes. And you're kind of cool. done. Yeah. But with skinny jeans, I think you really have to be careful about the shoes that you pick. It's all about the shape that yeah. your body makes. Oh, so. and they look very mm. skinny. What are these knees? <laughs> these are ultra distressed. <laughs> I'm just measuring it against my face, but like, damn. That on my arm, I don't, I don't see how my ankle is gonna fit through there, or my foot even. Like, there's not very much stretch in here. And this on my arm is tight, and there's no way in the world that my calf muscles are going to fit in here. Oh see, uh, this is the problem with distress. Like, does anyone just like just get caught? I'm stuck. My ring is stuck on the distress. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Okay. This was a bad idea. This, uh, this is, what is, it? look how skinny that section is there. I can't, I just don't understand what's going on right now. My knees aren't gonna fit through there. Mine look okay, I think I can imagine. Yeah, yours are wider. Uh, same length issue, but that's, you know, a problem for another time. So, so. these, we got Tiasha's in a 15. Yeah. Mine the same size in a three. These are $71. So these are cheaper than the first two. Interesting. Probably because there's, there's not no as much here. denim. These, I think all the pricing is pretty standard for jeans. And they don't feel cheap. And no, they, they don't... feel like proper denim. Yeah, and there's no like loose threads anywhere that there's not supposed to be. <laughs> so that's the excuse. Yeah. <laughs> they are well made. Yeah. There's no denying fashion over jeans are well made. Okay, good. Yeah. Uh, well, quality wise, yeah. I, I guess, but maybe not so much in fit wise, but oh, we'll, we'll see. Yes, we'll yes. see. Is it like literally just not going over your foot? It's not going over my heel. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. You guys just missed the most wild thing that's ever happened. So Tiasha was getting changed in the lounge room and I was getting changed in my bedroom and I left Archie out here in the lounge room. Tiasha's trying to get into the pants and Archie flies onto her back and then bites her butt. And then I've got one leg in this and I can't get into the other leg and Tiasha yells out, help, help! And I come running out of the bedroom and I come running down hopping with like one leg in the pants and the other leg trailing along the ground. And I'm in my underwear. <laughs> and I'm in, I'm in my underwear. And then I'm chasing Archie around and he's trying to go for Tiasha. Tiasha gets bitten on the finger, so she needs a band-aid. And I can't get out of the leg, because I was like, maybe I'll take this one off. 
and get out of this leg so that I'm just not wearing any pants. Couldn't get out of it. One leg in, one leg out, running around looking for band-aids. That was such a chaotic energy. I'm so done. Oh, We've half made it. We have one more step to go. Oh, I can't get it over my knees. Hang on. Oh! She just ripped off a whole bit of her distress, so. Trying to get them This on. is a physical manifestation of our distress right now. The left leg is smaller than the right leg. Oh. Because I was able to get the right leg in okay, but the left leg can't. Or maybe your left leg is bigger than your right leg. So this is what happened with the black jeans. It's like, you think that it's not going to do up, and then suddenly you've had like a tummy tuck and the whole thing just kind of... It all just falls into place. And then, hey, okay. you know what? We need to do like a sit down test. Oh, ouch. How is it? Oh, the, the distressed parts are like digging into oh, my legs no. so bad. It's cutting off the circulation. Oh, yeah. I feel like something's gonna rip. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, I can't breathe. The waist is just so tight that I can't like sit like this. I'm going red under this. I'm losing circulation. It's cutting off the blood flow. But you know what? Like, I think they both look really good on us. I haven't even looked in the mirror, hang on. You lo honestly look sick. I hate them. <laughs> I think they're so awful. I, t I don't think this is flattering in any way at really? all. Really? Uh, and also, when I go to get out of these, you know, when someone is raced into hospital and they have to have an operation, like, quickly <laughs> after a car accident and they cut them like that, you're gonna have to, like, go and even yeah. scissors yeah. As, as I lose blood have circulation. You ever, have you ever, like, tried something on in the dressing room and then felt trapped? Like, like you're like, oh. This yes. is too small and I'm not going to be able to get it off. The worst time that happened to me, I tried on a Zimmerman dress, which was like a $700 dress. The lady helped me into it and yeah. she, it, it wasn't budging over the zip yeah. and she really wanted to sell it to me. I was like, oh, I don't think it's going to fit. And she's like, no, no, it'll fit, it'll fit. And she's doing this and I was like, I don't know. And then it went whoop, and it went up over and she's like, there you go. Oh, it's perfect on you. Oh, it looks amazing. You need this in your life. And then... I was like, yeah, yeah, I look really good. Maybe I, maybe I will get it, but it was like 700 bucks. Yeah. I was like, no, don't be silly. Yeah. I'm not gonna spend that sort of money. No, no. And I went to unzip it and I couldn't get it unzipped. And she was like, oh yeah, let me help you. And then she tried to get it <gasps> and she couldn't get it unzipped. We struggled for 25 minutes and she didn't want to break it obviously because- oh, $700 dress. Yeah. yeah. And eventually I was there for so long and she's like, it's not gonna come off. And then she literally had to break <gasps> it. Open she had to break it? She had to break it. Oh my God. And I was like, I, I told I'm not her, paying for I told it. her it's not gonna work. It's not gonna do up. And she was insisting. She's like, no, no, it's totally fine. Was she like mad at you? I think or she was just she mad in general. Yeah. One, because she just ruined a $700 dress yeah. and probably was blaming it on me for wanting to try it on in the first place. Ugh. But I didn't want to keep going when yeah. I knew it wasn't gonna zip yeah. up. And then, yeah, anyway, so I have been through that. That's the worst story. But anyway, I feel like that's gonna happen with these yeah. two. Yeah. These are not gonna come off. These are really bad yeah. sizing. And I don't remember it saying anything on the listing about like, please size up or anything no, like that. No, no, not at all. And I, I'm still not a fan of distress on the back. Oh, the distress on the back I, is ridiculous. It's so tacky. It's so silly. Yeah, it's gross as hell. No, I, I hate, hate it. You can see it. But I yeah, this it. is a unanimous no, I think. A unanimous no. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. Ouch. Big ouch. Should I pull from the top or pull from um, the top? <laughs> I'm very distressed. <laughs> Next up, white jeans, and these are $51. Now, if you guys saw my most recent week-long wear test of Fashion Nova items, you would have seen me wear these white jeans. Yes, I got soy sauce on them literally the next day. Right there, I'm cursed. Oh dear. It's physically impossible. Even if I don't eat, I get soy sauce yeah. stains. I absolutely adore these jeans. Mm. These are some of my favorites. White jeans are very hard to get right, and they got these right. We got these in a 13 for you. Yeah. That waistline looks wider than the 15. This looks really comfortable, I'm excited. These, I'm excited to wear because I like white with my skin, but I find white the hardest to pull off because okay. they show everything. So, especially with a high waisted moment, like my little tummy might be showing, so. Which is cute. Let's my only see. concern for all of these for yeah. you is the length. Yeah, well. <laughs> we either need to get you 10 inch heels. <laughs> yeah. I just need have to... to wear like stripper heels all the time now. <laughs> I live in them now. I know I love these, so I'm, yeah. I'm excited to see you wearing them. Okay, so here's okay. the white ones. We know I love these. I fell in love with these in my video and I wear them a lot. They look so great. They do look great on you. I think they're a really good length on me and yeah. I think proportionately the way that it uh, tucks in at the knee and mm -hmm. then flares out, mm -hmm. it just sits really well on me. Mm -hmm. And they feel really good quality. Oh, they're so nice. It's not they a quality feel great. Thing. Yeah. And they're very stretchy and super comfortable. Yeah. These are the most comfortable. They're so comfortable. Yeah. They're so comfortable. Yeah. My Again, just 
exactly the same as the pink jeans. It's like it's just not flattering for me here. I would probably have to size up with these ones. Uh, this is the 13. So this is the 13. Yes, so maybe so a 15 for this one. Yeah. Because it's just cutting into like all my chub here. So it's like creating a muffin top and like creating this unflattering kind of shape and like. I think it looks really nice. Thank you. I, but, like looking at yeah. you from the full length. Yeah. I think it's lovely and it looks so good from the back as well. It's oh, so nice. That's one thing we have to give Fashion Nova jeans is like they know how to. They know how to do the butt. Yeah, they really, they really know how to do the butt. Das Boot. Das Boot. <laughs> <laughs> this one's a no for me, but 100% yes for the you. The length is way better. 100%. That length. If you just wore a normal pair of shoes, yeah. they would probably come up yeah, with a fine Yeah, that's eyes. so true. This is the flare shit. Yeah. Sizing is a little bit off. So these are a 13 and black ones were a 13. Yeah, so that very first pair. And remember, they were made of the same thing when we looked at the fabric. They yes, were exactly the correct. same. Correct, and we were wondering why there was a price difference. Yeah. But those black ones fit me so much better. Yeah, they were so, so nice. I don't know, it's, it's really hard to know. I yeah. felt like we ordered everything the way we should have, yeah. according to the size chart. Exactly. Aside from, I mean, the 13s, you did technically fit with your measurements. Yeah. We just went for the 15 because we thought it would be a closer fit. Yeah. So we've done everything right. As possible. As yeah. possible. But yeah, the sizing is just so vastly different yeah. between the 13s. One 113 is different to a different 13. Yeah. All I can say is really, really look at that size chart like that's yeah. all you can do and if yeah. that still is wrong then that's they're bad we have some mum jeans <laughs> so these these are $81 again I like the denim mm -hmm. feels like a nice denim yeah. nice color they are yeah. rolled up I wonder if you can unroll. very 90s mum what is going on here yeah so this this they're actually called fold me open jeans or something I can't remember but basically this little slit here is supposed to hang open <gasps> like that oh. which I really didn't like when I saw it on the website, I was like, I don't mind one single slit like that, but it yeah. looks kind of silly having that it. That is so silly. And also, my mum wouldn't do that. Would your mum do that? My mum would sew that together. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but uh, these are not stretchy in the slightest. Oh, Luke. okay. Can, no stretch. Oh. No give at all. Mine's a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit. A little but, bit ooh, stretchy. that's making me nervous. Okay, cool. I'm not going to lie. I'm actually the most excited to try these on. Yeah, yeah. I think I am these too, are cute. actually. Ah. Ah. So the mum jeans. A disappointment? Definitely a disappointment. These are nothing like the mum jeans that I love. Yeah, agreed. I love mum jeans that have a little bit of room here. Yeah. Just like a little bit of room. Yeah. It shouldn't be tight here. No, I don't point. think so. I, I think that it's meant to be like a high waist yeah. with like a relaxed fit. Yeah. For me, it just looks like a, almost like a knockoff of a mum yeah. thing. Because it's so basic and yeah. this is so clinically oh, cut. Is, I just, really don't like this. It's so silly. This thing here is really ugly. It's like the way terrible. that it, it falls open and when you don't have it folded open when you just kind of have it sitting like that yeah it looks really silly yeah like it doesn't look right so you do have to have it folded yeah, open no choice yeah mm. lengthwise at least they're the right length they're very comfortable though yeah. I will say that I feel like these will probably turn into my work jeans in not not work work but yeah. like work around the house jeans I think that's what mum jeans are right like they're supposed to I guess like so. housework and stuff yeah, like that yeah I will probably if I had to go paint something if I was doing a DIY mm. project and I wanted to just wear cozy jeans. Yeah. I'll probably hang on to these for that purpose, but yeah. I wouldn't style these and wear them out and about. No. Like even with a pair of sneakers, I, I don't think that they look quite right. I feel like it's lacking just design quality yeah. to it. Like yeah. there's nothing. It's just so boring. Yeah. I, I wish even something. Something has to be different. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I'm not a designer, but it's yeah. something. Fit wise though, like they, they do fit they around the nice. bum. <laughs> they The waistline. Fits nicely around the waist, yeah, I guess, but although for me, when I put my legs together, look at this awkward, can you see this weird shape oh. that kind of happens? Oh yeah! It, like, it pinches, it pinches in and, and it makes... Does it, mine do that? No. Oh, kind of. I don't know, I feel like they almost need to hang down a little bit lower, yeah. but then when they hang down, the waist isn't sitting at quite yeah, the right it's height. Supposed to be, ah, yeah, right. So, not, not such a fan, don't love these. Mm -hmm. I just think they're boring. I don't think that they're, they're flattering, and I don't <sighs> like that stupid weird rip. Thing. It's a no from me. It's a big no from me. Yeah. <laughs> Next up we have some boyfriend jeans. Ooh. These ones are $61. So these are interesting. These have a chain built into them. Ooh, that's so you, 2008. Yes. <laughs> you can tell we've been friends for a while. <laughs> these feel dirty. Do you get that? Feel it. It leaves like a red... Ugh. Rub your fingers. Oh. Ugh. Oh. They don't smell, but like touching them and then going to rub my fingers together. There's like coating on my hands now. I wasn't sold on these based <laughs> on what they looked like on the website. Yeah. I thought that this just looked, it looked a bit awkward, but I thought it's fun to give it a try. You know? And also because I wanted to get various cuts yeah. and styles, yeah. I needed to throw some boyfriend yeah. jeans yeah. in there. Yeah. I hate boyfriend jeans. 
What I, I what would make them. what make it a boyfriend? What jeans? make it a boyfriend <laughs> jean? Why don't I look it up? A jean style that's typically fitted at the hips and in the seat with a more generous, relaxed cut through the legs. There you go. That's that's what I thought. I thought it's it's like quite wide through the thighs, mm. so it's like a relaxed cut. I don't want to get like feminist on all your butts, but isn't that crazy that like. A girl jean would be tight on the ass, like not uncomfortable, <laughs> slits everywhere, like you're not allowed to be comfortable. But the minute you give leeway to sit down, it becomes a boyfriend jean. Are you guys serious? So we have these big ringlet, what do you call these? Uh, eyelets? Eyelets, yes. yes. We have big eyelets here with the yeah. chains hanging through. Uh, the chain also comes through on the center, so it's it's just the whole Ooh, chain is, yeah. you can move the whole thing. It's not right. tied down in any specific spot. Mm. Finally, Perfect. finally a good length. <laughs> Guys, this is the first pair of jeans which I think aren't gonna fit. And this is a 15. And it shouldn't be this hard to do up the button. But it does do up. Okay. You did it. I did it. But look at this. Do you know what I mean? It ain't that it not in it. Yeah. That That's so it. weird. Tiasha's chain broke. So it's supposed to sit with one of the hooks on one belt loop, the other hook over here, and then it crosses over. Oh, I only have one hook. No, the other one's here. Oh, so that's where, so it, that's fell where it fell off. Yeah. I would be interested to know if the chain changes length depending on the size of the jeans. Because right. I don't think so. I think your chain is probably the same length as my chain. Yeah, because look at the difference in how much they... Yeah, my, look how low my my chain hangs low. <laughs> and yours, it's not it's not doing the draping thing that it's no. supposed to. This is one of the most uncomfortable pairs of jeans I've ever experienced in my life. Just it is so tight. Well, it's like just right up. I'm wedging myself. Like, it's so uncomfortable. Ugh. I think, well, at least lengthwise, they're okay for you. Yeah. Um, I've actually rolled mine up because it looked much more flattering rolled up than it looked when it was at its full length. Mm -hmm. um, the chain is a little bit unusual. It's definitely a choice. Yeah, I quite like it on you, like actually. It? Yeah, I quite like it. You look like an ego. Like, it's cute. Yeah, I feel like at least because there's clips, you mm -hmm. can change the orientation of yes. the chain. So if you wanted it to just hang down on one side mm -hmm. or something, you could. Mm -hmm. Or if you wanted it to come around the back instead of the front mm -hmm. and maybe, like, hook up just here or something. Mm -hmm. You can play around with the chain at least. Fit-wise, if you guys are interested in these jeans, the size 3 was fine. So maybe in the plus section they've got their sizing all wrong because if I'm you're so a similar size to Tiasha, yeah. definitely size up. Oh my god, I would size 2 up. Would you go 2? This is like, like look at my butt, I have a wedgie. Aww. It's so tight. It, it still uh, looks nice. <laughs> Actually, I think that I like the cut of these boyfriend jeans more than I liked the mum jeans, yeah. which is surprising because I was going on about how I don't like boyfriend jeans. <laughs> but these aren't what I imagine. I mean, I've had other boyfriend jeans mm. and they didn't look as nice as this. Yeah, so, this is what I like. The way it's sitting on you right now is what I want in a pair yeah. of jeans. Yeah. So, and I think you would have got that if it was two sizes up. I think so. Which is crazy to think that you would have to go up to a 17. Yeah. Which is, I think on the size chart, a good couple of centimeters like maybe even so 10 centimeters bizarre. something more than what you yeah, need. How bizarre. I, I mean, the awkward thing is though, I don't know what size to tell you at what point you should size up. Yeah. Because if you're a size three, you don't need to size up. But what if you're a size five? Is that issue gonna happen? What if you're a size 10? Is that gonna happen? Look, I'm just gonna say flat out, maybe just size up in general yeah. with these. Like I wouldn't mind if these were a size up anyway. Yeah. They're not too tight, but I feel like if they were more loose, it doesn't matter because I just wear a belt and mm. it would be okay. So mm. maybe to be on the safe side, Get a larger size. Yeah. I don't know. My entire chain design is like different that's to yours That's so now. stupid. I feel like that's the only thing you can <laughs> That is the only thing you yeah. can do. Because they haven't given enough chain no. length for plus size. It's I think it's exactly the same length chain yeah. as a size two, which is so stupid. <laughs> do you not think that- Should we measure? Why not? No, oh, go on. Actually, I think yours is shorter. Shut up. Please. Yeah, yours is shorter. Look how much, yours is tight and mine has a little bit of slack. What? The logic does not exist. <laughs> okay, next up, these are also from my previous Fashion Nova video. I found that the size of these ran a little bit big. I ordered these in a three, same as the white ones. The white ones fit very well. These ones were a little tiny bit wide on me. These are long boot cut jeans. They have these little tiny pockets in the front. No pockets on the back, which really, really annoyed me because mm. I always, I keep going to put my mobile phone Sorry. in my back pocket yeah. and there's no pocket there. So these, uh, they button up. They don't have a fly, mm. which I quite like. I love the length of these. See, for, I, I'm not enjoying that you can, there's distressing oh, yeah. on yours has that too because yeah the buttons are like distressed so mine look a slightly different color to yours yeah. look at the do you think that's because you've been oh no fire alarm 
Testing. It's a test. Oh, oh god. So yeah, I think mine look a little bit lighter than yours. So yeah. I think there's a little bit of variation in ah. the denim colors. Yeah. This might be the oh, longest one yet. Yeah. And these are a 13. Okay. And these, that looks wider than some of the 50s. Yes, definitely. So these are $51. Ooh. And so the only other ones that were 51 were the white ones. See, what does it mean? <laughs> what? These, what does it mean? Because I loved these so much. Yeah. I would happily pay 80 for these. These are some of my favorites, as you guys would have seen in my last fashion over video. Mm -hmm. I love these like massively over exaggerated boot cut jeans. I think they're so cool. They're very brat These doll. aren't flares? I would consider these boot cut because oh. see how wide it is. Flares out a little bit, but because the top half isn't skin tight and the knee doesn't ah, pinch in, yes. that's what I think is the difference. You know, with the, the first pair, yes, yes. the knee pinched in and then, and then it, it flared out. out. Right. But these, it doesn't pinch in at the knee, it's loose yeah. at the knee. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's so cool. It's very retro, mm -hmm. very yeah, 2000s. For sure. I still love these. I've worn these so much since that video, guys, and they They've actually loosened up, so mm. I haven't lost weight. I've actually put on weight. Yes. Because I was filming a video where I ate food from 7 Eleven in Australia <laughs> for a week and I put on a significant amount of weight. <laughs> but these are loose. I'm a few kilos heavier than I was last time I wore these, <laughs> and they're loose. So I actually think that they've loosened up. Yeah. So uh, I guess if Good these, to know. they're a little bit tight right now. Yeah. Right? So they're not, they're the right size, but mm. they, I could do with a loosen just for comfort. But it is, these they are the comfiest ones, I think. For the more sure. you wear them, they'll loosen yeah, up too. Yeah, sure. Okay, so we're going to put a picture of the model up on the screen. Mm. Now, looking at her, I yeah. don't think she's very tall. Yeah, yeah. And the jeans on her look really proportionate. I actually think that sometimes companies will do that where for the model, they will oh, literally really? specifically tailor the garment yeah. for the model so it looks its best. And then when they sell it, it's That's not. That's 100% what's so happened. Her jeans are actually going above her belly button. Do yours? And these ones are going on, yeah, right they're, they're on my on belly button. Be but on hers, the jeans are sitting Yeah, away. and that's what we were just saying. Like, it yeah. should be a little bit more high-waisted without giving me, like, a wedgie. I lucked out. Like, I was lucky that these yeah. suit me. So these win for me, win for the straight size section. Yeah. I don't think so much for the plus size. Yeah, it depends. Like, if you, for me, I'm, like, really, like, all my weight is kind of in my butt and my belly. But if you're, like, more top-heavy, then maybe these are for yeah, you. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. And also maybe if if you're plus size but you're like quite tall mm. and they're not going to trail on the ground you mm. won't have as much of an issue yeah it's just it's really hard to know mm. it's it's kind of hit and miss really. yeah it's so jeans are hard jeans are very that's hard. why people are so hesitant to buy them online right yeah that's right i get it i get it girl next up these are the cheapest jeans by a long shot these are only 40 dollars i'm excited so these are really cute. They have little stars all over them. The cool thing about this is if you want to recreate something like this yourself, I've seen some of those five minute craft videos where you get a piece of felt and you cut out a shape and you dip it in bleach and then you just stamp it on your jeans. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, and it's really easy. So you can recreate this sort of thing. The stars are like a silver, a weird paint kind of almost? silver paint. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not actually bleached. It's like sort of pressed on there mm. with the paint or something. Although that would be cool with bleach. Like, yeah, I, think I would that like would that with be, bleach. Yeah. yeah. There's a warning on these. Oh. Oh gosh. This product can expose you to chemicals, <laughs> including silica, crystalline, which are known to the state of California to cause cancer. What? Did any of the other jeans no, have that? they're the only ones. They seem a fair bit shorter. Mm. They're skinny, but they're not as extremely skinny as those other ones. Yeah, these look a bit like the mum jeans. These kind. are considered boyfriend jeans. What is going on? <laughs> they, they look really, really different to those other boyfriend jeans. So. Yeah, I don't get it. Okay. So here we are with the cancer jeans. What a nice relief to finally be able to just slip something on. They were perfect for both of us. We yeah. just pulled them on. No struggle. We've been doing this for like three hours now, I'm not gonna lie. I'm exhausted. We're both exhausted and it was, this is a pleasure. Just like that. Yep. Zip. Almost Done. like pants are supposed to be put on. Oh wow. How strange. How funny that, uh, that women can actually put on yeah, pants. Yeah, how then. weird. Uh, <laughs> this is what we deserve, girls. Yeah. I kind of like the cut. Yeah. Kind of. These are boyfriend cut. Mm. I don't like them as much as the black boyfriend cut. Agreed. I thought that was a little bit yeah, nicer. That was more flattering for sure. The fit, very easy to wear. Mm -hmm. There's, it's loose around here. Yeah, nice and loose and stretchy. Like stretchy. stretchy enough, but also not... Fly went up fine. Oh yeah, mine was a little janky, but... You got I think once it's up, it's you okay, warm it up, but, right? Yeah, 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 exactly. How are we liking the back? Your butt looks really nice. Thanks! Yep. So does yours! Oh, I, I feel like sometimes jeans really flatten me out because I don't have very much here. Do to you feel like with. these are doing Sometimes well. they lift. I feel like these are maybe doing a little bit of a squash. <laughs> <laughs> What's a boyfriend jean meant to be? Well, Google said it was meant to be a relaxed fit. I don't think yeah. this is a relaxed no, fit. No, it's, it's not comfy. stopping me from doing anything. It's but comfy. it's not because of extra fabric. It's just because it's stretchy. And if you like the stars and if you like the shape yeah. and everything, then why not? Yeah. Well, I know why not, because they could give you cancer. <laughs> okay, these ones are considered classic high-rise skinny jeans. The model looks 
bomb in these. She yeah. looks so good. She's wearing them with thigh high boots. Oh, I saw that photo. Wow. Okay. Oh, these are really soft. These are a completely different material to anything we've encountered before. Ooh. This is like jeggings. This, this, I was just about to say, yes. Jeggings. These are fake jeggings. Wait, let's look at the, the material makeup. 49% rayon, 32% cotton, 12% polyester, and 2% spandex. There's a lot going on there. Rayon is jegging material. Oh, is it? I think so, yeah. Maybe, yeah. Okay, so these were $61. I would think these should be cheaper, right? You would think so, but this also has a higher cotton. Oh, than the other ones, yeah, right? Yeah. Those ones didn't have as much cotton. That's true. This is 32% cotton. So. These are very, very tiny in the waist. Extremely tiny. Do you think you'll fit? Oh, they're Maybe. quite stretchy. Yeah. I reckon these will be flattering on both of us. I hope so. We're getting good vibes. So these are the ultra skinny jeans. Ultra skinny. I was scared to put these on, but plot twist. Plot twist. They're, they're really literally nice. so easy to put on. These are the jegging material, so yes. it doesn't, it's not real denim. And yeah. this is the one that was made of like four different types of fabric. Yeah, it's so, Raylon, right? Raylon yeah. and cotton and spandex oh, and something so else. so comfortable. They're so stretchy. I can do anything I want. Yeah, they're, they're like elastic bands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put on some thigh highs. Tiasha's going to wear heels. Mm -hmm. So you can have a look at what that looks like because I think with the thigh highs, it looks a little bit more proportionate. Yeah. And because they're so skinny, they actually fit inside the boots nicely. I think these are basically intended to be worn. Like, that's how they're modeled on the website. I think so, too. They're modeled with boots. Honestly, like, I remember everyone used to wear these with, like, basketball sneakers back in 2000, like, two, when we were in primary oh, school. Yeah, Do you remember? Yeah, I remember. The really thick, like, Air Force One I type. remember popular girls in school yeah, wearing that. Always wearing the tight, skinny jeans and the basketball. But I think... It's a boot situation. It's definitely I a boot agree. situation. Overall, uh, wearing them as they are, yeah. I think I'm quite happy. Yeah. I can imagine wearing these uh, around the place with many different tops, many yeah. different looks. Mm. I just wanted to say one thing with these is that it's not leaving much the image. Like when I go sideways, can you guys see my pouch? Like. It's not doing, because it's jeggings, it's molding to my form rather than doing the, the <laughs> technique. So just to let you know, it's not quite being the way I'd like it to. <laughs> just depends how you feel wearing yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> this is the piece de resistance. These are $71. Oh my God, they're not. These are $71. Wait until you see them. We only got these just for the laughs. <laughs> you say that. But I feel like I've seen people wear these in public. You think? I've, Wearing these seriously? I think I've seen maybe people Maybe a Coachella. Wear. Yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the pictures, these look absolutely ridiculous <laughs> and terrifying. I would say yeah. terrifying. I'm gonna say, <laughs> and they're not jeans. It's like a bikini, like a G-string equivalent of yeah, a pair of jeans. Yeah, it's like, like, like micro mini denim shorts. Look, I, I don't know if I even need to comment on these. <laughs> There's no point. You'll see. So here we are. These are the, the most ridiculous jeans I've ever seen. I hate them. Looks like I've been mauled by a wild animal. It's like Tiasha was attacked by Archie a couple too many times. I don't know. Does anyone buy these why seriously? Would, why would you? Why? Why would you? Why? The draft on my skin at the front. It's do you know making what I mean? me uncomfortable. Yeah. I don't like it at all. I feel and like I've forgotten my pen. Yeah. And also, this is so tight. Is yours tight? Yeah. Mine's really oh, mine's uncomfortably okay. tight. Like mine's it's cutting okay. off the circulation oh, tight. Dear. Don't like at all. Oh my god. Yeah. There's you, no you can't even there. get your finger in there. Look, I could either cut off the stupid base and turn them into shorts. Yeah, even then, they're too short for me almost that I'm like uncomfortable. And also, this detailing, look at these. Oh! There's just <gasps> stupid- Oh, I didn't even notice that. Tiny distress bits here. There's distressed bits just on your tummy. Yeah, it's just- On either side of your belly like, button, this basically. This was literally designed by the a person who does not understand how the body works. I feel like they, did, they designed it as a joke. I mean, if you wear this seriously, then good for you. You do you. Boo. Turn around for a second. Looks like normal jeans. Like say oh, you're yes. meeting your friend and you're like, cute jeans. Oh, and then BAM! <laughs> bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we just spent we spent $160 to look like this. Can I just say guys, so normally we don't speak when we're in the corridor because we're we're doing the modeling shots. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna break character for a moment because now that we're looking at these outside in light and full length and from far away, we <laughs> don't hate them. <laughs> And I hate myself for not hating <laughs> But like honestly, let's just count and look forward and just look, look at us, ready? Yeah. Right? What do you think of jeans? Yeah, do you hate them? Amazing. They're terrible! <laughs> They're terrible! <laughs> we hate them so much! <laughs> uh, They're not real pants! Do you think so? I think that there's one too many holes, personally. <laughs> Okay guys, so that's it. That's 
that's everything. If you liked this video, <laughs> please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. You can find Tiasha over on the Marshmallow Girls. We're also on Instagram. My Instagram's Pretty Pastel Please. Archie's Instagram is Archie Eclectus and Tiasha's is Marshmallow Girls. Yes. So, with that, let us know uh, other stores that you want us to do plus standard size comparisons yep. for. Uh, we're always down for it. Um, <laughs> it's been an adventure, for sure. This has been an adventure. Also, this is obviously a themed video with jeans. Like, if you have anything else, let's say, for example, you want prom dresses from a certain mm. store, or if you want workwear, or if you want yeah. swimsuits from mm -hmm. somewhere in particular, just let us know down below. Mm -hmm. So, uh, tell us what your favourite pair of jeans were. On who as well. And on who. Because I assume ours are going to be different. Yeah, I think they'll yeah. be different. I think jeans that look good on you won't look good on me, Maybe. and it'll be the same vice versa. versa. Yeah. So tell us what you guys think down below. Mm -hmm. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Mwah! Is that the fashion police? <gasps> True! It's doing absolutely nothing. Wow, I look pregnant. Cool, cool, cool. Oh. Hello? 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 Your home is Alec Pinder. This is Saint Alex, and I'm calling you from the utility opera. How are you doing today? Sorry, where were you calling from? I'm calling you from the utility opera. The, the utility okay. offer? That's right. And well, the nature of this call is just to update you that after the 1st of July 2019, as you know, that none of the retailer panel can overcharge you for your electricity and the gas service. Okay. So today, the only purpose of my call is just to update you about the strongest rate available for you and tell you that what are the new benefits you can enjoy as for your meter time. So as you can see that you are currently resigning in New South Wales, if I'm not wrong, right? Uh, no, I'm in Queensland. You're in Queensland? And what was your current first code? Uh, 5214. 5214. That's right? Mm-hmm. Sorry? Like 5214 is a postcode of South Australia. Oh, sorry. I used to live in South Australia. My, my old postcode's stuck in my head. I actually don't know my current postcode. I think it's 333. Three, three, uh, three, three, what? It, hang on, I'll ask my husband. Sweetie, do you know what our new postcode is? 3003. Zero, zero, three. No, no, 3003. Zero, 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 it's a postcode of Victoria. Oh, Victoria! Oh, I'm sorry, I don't know our new postcode. Do, do you need it? Well, what's your street? What's your house number? My house Did number? Uh, my house number is 36 Archie Street. Archie Street? Yeah, A R C H I E. Peekaboo? Pardon? Peekaboo. P double -E, e K A B double O. Peekaboo? Yep, no, Peekaboo with the B double O. No! <laughs> he was done. He was 110% <laughs> done with you. Look, I'm sick of them calling the me. The anxiety I just felt was really... <laughs>